Hey guys and welcome to another video. I know I haven't been uploading much. That's because I've been busy with exams and like studying for them, prepared for my GCSEs. I recently got my science exam results back. Well, mock really. My mock exam part of it. And I got a level 1 pass, so yay me for passing. I recently just had one this morning, and it was my health and social care one. I don't believe I passed. Well, that's because... Well, I don't, just don't think I will pass. But I want to take this opportunity. I'm not going to be playing games. I'm not going to do a reaction video until, like, probably soon. But... For this video, I want to keep it nice and calm, so I've decided to do pet peeves. Now, pet peeves are very common for those who get annoyed easily. This is a video for them. I would like to discuss my ones. I have five different pet peeves that annoy me the most. Number one, no, number five of my pet peeves is people disrupting lessons. I know this is just stupid and a typical nerd thing. Well, I'm not a nerd. I'm not good in subjects. I know I'm not. But I'm doing the best I can with everything. But what annoys me most about people disrupting lessons is like you're trying to get on with a lesson but people keep talking and disrupting lessons like making sure that they can ignore the teacher to a quite possible time to make sure they get kicked out at the lesson. Oops. Sorry about that. by shouting back, making fun of them. I know it's a bit of a stupid one, but it's my annoyance because I just want to get the lesson over and done with. If it's a subject I hate the most, for some people I know this can relate to them. I know this is, can relate to anyone else, but yeah. Oh, I can't talk today. I can't talk. This is, a, I know other people have this common annoyance in lessons or work, wherever you do your jobs, you know you won't get a day through the day very quickly and without disruptions. For my number fourth pet peeve is the most stupid, stupidest, silliest one ever is Harry Potter haters. I know it seems very stupid, but I'm a Harry Potter fan, and I always will be. And the thing is, when I'm walking past someone, or walking down the street, they always shout out, oh, there's Harry Potter, oh, it's Harry Potter girl, Expelliarmus, stupefy. I know that's what I get around people sometimes when they know I'm a Harry Potter fan. I know I'm a Harry Potter fan. Yeah, I get that. But I don't need to be constantly reminded. And for those Harry Potter fans out there, um, people taking the mech out of them, this can relate to them. For them. Ugh, I can't speak. I'm the worst speaker ever. But my number third pet peeve is people pushing and shoving. Now I know I have this common pet peeve with a load of other people. Because like, you're in line, you're waiting patiently and people start pushing and shoving so that they can knock into you. I recently, well not recently, last year, not school, I 
They were two boys were mucking around, pushing and shoving, and I got smacked right in the face. And I had a red muck all up the side of my face here when they were shoving and pushing. That's why I don't like people pushing and shoving. I know. Like, stupid. I know some of my pet peeves are very, very stupid. But I hope someone can find something in common. It's just like a being a relaxed video. This is... Now... Oh. Uh, I think I'll wait this one out. Sorry. <laughs> Whoever's calling me. Um... So yeah, that's my third one. My second one is people stopping right in front of you. Now I know people can relate to this. Like when you're walking, you've got people in front of you that walk so slow. And then all of a sudden they stop in front of you. And it really annoys you. Because you're trying to walk and then all of a sudden they just stand there. I know this for a fact because at my school, whenever I'm at school, anywhere, I'll be in the shop or at school in the corridor and everyone would just like be in front of me, doing their normal business like always and then all of a sudden they will stop right in front of you and it's so annoying and when you try and move out the way, they move exactly where you're going to move. So that really annoys me. I know that, that might annoy some of you. I know it's stupid and all that, but it's a few of my pet peeves. Well, my first one is my all-time hatred. I hate them with a passion. Is probably can't see it properly. But, I don't know, something's going on with my phone. Sorry about this. The, sorry, I've got a new computer and it's been a pain. But yeah, my all time hatred in the world is clocks. It's stupid, I know, but it's mine. I hate it when it in the car. If you're in a silent room and all you can hear is the clocks ticking around, you know it will drive someone insane. Because one time when I was in an exam, the clock was ticking, everything was silent, and I was getting really annoyed with the clock. The clock. But I wanted to chuck it out the window. It was so annoying. Like, I hate when, like, Clocks go around. It's like they're waiting for your insanity to lose. For well, those who haven't lost it, like me. I have lost it. <laughs> to most people, I do have. But, yeah, those were some of my pet peeves. I know it's stupid and all that, but I decided to make this video. I couldn't handle, like, a full video with another person here with me. I just wanted a nice, calm, relaxed enjoyable video because I'm really really tired from all the exams I'm tired from walking back from school doing homework club from interventions so I can get good enough for my exams so I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll leave and leave a comment below and I'll put in my Twitter I recently got Twitter so if anyone wants to follow me on Twitter, you can. Yay! I'm just tired. But anyways, I'll put my Instagram, my Twitter in the description below for you. Now, I'd like to say goodbye and if I can find them. My lovely cat, Montana, says... <laughs>